Hello everybody, welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back with an interesting video for you. Today I want to show you a simple technique that I like to use to use a drop cloth four two inch steel rings and two small sections of approximately ten foot each of parachute cord you're probably wondering what does all this have to do with each other well what I want to show you is a simple technique that I like to use to use this gear to make a hammock uh, when I'm out in the woods now all this gear I keep in my car all the time this drop cloth I use in the back seat to keep the dogs hair off the car and I always have paracord and really all you need is these four steel rings but this is a technique that I really like to use and I thought I'd share it with you right here in the center of the screen you can see that there is a tree and then if you come over here you can see that there's another tree and that's about the right length that I need they're about 13 feet apart or so and that's perfect because because this drop cloth that I'm using is a 12 foot by 9 foot so I'm gonna go lengthwise approximately 12 feet so it'll fit perfectly between these two trees first thing I want to talk about is each of these sets of rings goes with a set of cordage and on one end of the cordage I'm gonna tie a bowline around both of these rings. Now the bowline does not need to be tight or anything like that. It could be a loose bowline, meaning the bite of the, of the knot can be loose. So this is what I have on one side. I have a bowline with two steel rings. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So it's basically one for each tree. So I have a bowl in here, just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this first tree. I'm going to throw this around the tree and hopefully catch it over here. The only reason I had to do it that way is because this is a fairly large tree. I want to go a little bit higher with it. Once I get to here, I'm going to take my cordage and I'm going to make another bowling around this original bowling here. Something like this. So right there I have a, a slip bowling, slippery bowling right here. And then I have my two steel rings. That's going to be one side of my hammock connecting to that other bowline. So I'm going to pull, I have a loop here holding this top with my thumb. My working end is going to come all the way through the bowline. That's going to create the loop that I need to come underneath and through this hole, through this bite. Bear with me. So this one here that I'm shaking it's going to go through all the way. Now, we're going to take and put this part under everything. This working end goes under this, this standing line here. And then we're going to put a bite through here. That's going to create that slippery bowling. When I say slippery bowling, what I'm referring to is how easy this will be to release when I'm done. So when I'm done, I'll just come here and pull, and that releases the bowling real easy, real quick. Okay, so let me show you that one more quick time. 
just like this. Put the working end all the way through. Stick the bite through. And there is my connection. When it comes time to string your tarp or your drop cloth in our, in our case, you just unfold it lengthwise, but you want to leave it in half. So I have something, you see, this is like a blanket. It's long like this and I have it folded in half. I have those two sides together. This will give us the strength. See, it's about that wide. Now what we'll do is we'll connect one end and then we'll connect the other end. Now what we want to do is we want to go with the top of the tarp through both rings. And we want to pull it kind of tight. You see how I got it kind of tight? And then what we're going to do is we're going to separate the rings and we're going to pull the bottom end through, back through, the bottom ring going back towards the hammock. Now what will happen is when you put the weight on the hammock it'll it'll hold pressure against this from coming undone because of your weight on the hammock. Now I'm going to tighten it just a little bit more here. Just kind of like I did. I'm holding it in my armpit and then I'm pulling my armpit. That's what gives me a little bit of ability to loosen this and keep everything together. So I'm just pulling it a little bit tighter, just like that. Now the weight of me in this hammock is going to bite right here again because I put it on the top. If I did it backwards, let me show you another example of the incorrect way. If I was to come with my tarp from underneath, for example, and then separate the rings and then pull it through something like this, when I would lay in the hammock, this is the tag end or this would be the, the standing end, there's nothing that binds it hard enough against itself. So therefore, there's, it's not laying on itself. So this would tend to slip and it would come undone. So this little tag, this little tail, needs to be on the bottom. We're going to hold it in our armpit, get our rings, stick it through from the top down, pull it nice and tight, as deep as you want, as deep as you can go, comfortably. Then we're going to separate the rings, and we're going to come back through this ring where my thumb is, right here with the material and pull it as tight as we can get it just like that so now the the weight of my body I can't stress this enough the weight of my body is gonna bind against this tail here that's hanging and that's how we're gonna stay in this hammock okay now we have it set up and you're probably wondering how do you get in it just like any other hammock I make sure that both of these tails are down I come in, I open it up a little bit in the center, sit it down, sit down in it, and, and make sure you have your feet underneath you while you put your first weight in it. You'll know before you crawl that leg up if it's going to hold or if it's going to slip. Now I'm in, just like a normal hammock. You can see here that I can fold this one over, I can fold this one over, and it's almost like a blanket for me. I'm not touching the ground, and it's holding my weight 100%. So it's just like this. I open it, I hold one with my hand, and I just kind of sit. I keep my feet under me because I don't know if it's going to hold right away or not. You'll know when you first sit in it. That's why you need your feet under you for, 
for balance just in case it does slip you'll feel it at this point right now you'll feel it if it holds it's gonna hold all night flip that over and there's your hammock folks out of a drop cloth and four rings and about 20 feet of paracord that's how I do it it works great I sleep in these all the time it's very comfortable you can cover up like a cocoon kind of hide yourself very comfortable if you have a bedroll you could put your bedroll in here and it holds plenty of weight and that's all there is to it folks so again, I want to say thank you for watching the video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you would, please. And uh, until next time, folks, have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Now get out there and make yourself a hammock out of a drop cloth. Works great. See you later.